What is up, fishing fam and outdoor enthusiasts? Model Fishing Outdoors here. If you like what you're seeing, like, comment, subscribe, share my channel if you want, and uh, let's get going into it. So, like I said in my previous two videos, Nomadic, we got some previous month's boxes because they were 20 bucks a box at a steal. A lot of these boxes were in the high 50s, low 60s for value. And I'm sure that's MSRP value, but they got a lot of cool things for 20 bucks. Now, these boxes aren't like Battle Box. They're not like these other big box companies. They have more of the affordable um, outdoor boxes. And they usually get dogged on a lot by other box companies and people saying that they have stuff they have is junk now quality wise this isn't going to be your high-end stuff but somebody who's just getting into camping they don't need a 300 dollars hammock they start off small and if they like it then they can invest the money that's what i really like about nomadic it's just nomadic's type of box to get you from your couch to the outdoors with a reasonable cost so this, this box is called Base Camp Necessities. And they got your let us let us know. Um, you got some discounts on this one. I'll put these up. I don't know if they're still good or not. You can use them. Go for it. Hopefully they work. And they got their challenge. And this one, they actually, this month they give you tips. Nomadics tips. Things to do when setting up your base camp. One. When packing, keep your essentials handy, such as flashlights, insect repellent, first aid kit, a knife, paracord, and any other tools you're going to need for setting up. It's great information. Two, make sure you choose a flat campsite with some shade to shelter you from the weather, even if it doesn't have a, as good of, a, even if it doesn't have as good of a view. Because let me tell you, you might want to camp at the edge of a cliff so you can see all the valley and mountains around you but let me tell you at nighttime when that wind starts to pick up and temperatures start to drop you are going to freeze your butt off unless you have a good sleeping bag and shelter in place sometimes it is better to camp with trees around you to break up the wind and snow and rain if that happens Number three, make sure you have a trash system. Don't leave your food unattended. If there is no bear box at your campsite, seal all your food and trash in airtight containers and, and store it inside your trunk. So trunk of your car. Now, if you don't have a trunk, take your trash, put it in a bag, and get it off the ground. You're still going to have to probably deal with raccoons because those suckers can climb trees. But get it off the ground. Get it like 15 feet in the air. Even if you throw a rope over top of a tall branch, you tie it up with a rope, pull the rope all the way up, get it up in the air, and then tie it off. Because the last thing you want is bears in your campsite. I would honestly, if it was my trash, I would keep it probably like 30, 40 yards away. So let's get into it. Grand Trunk Trunk Gear Sling. So that's with this. Keep your equipment off the ground and away from critters. This gear sling easily attaches to any hammock, allowing for quick access to your shoes, water, other camp equipment up to 60 pounds. So I haven't even looked at what this is. I haven't opened it. A nice little compact. a little loop right here so you can hang it from a pack so basically this all unfolds out it's got some rope with a carabiner and it's knotted off basically this is pretty cool now don't ask me how to get this back together because i don't know couldn't tell you so it's got two spots with carabiners 
basically it's a hammock for all your stuff. You put all your stuff in here and you hang this end on one side and you hang this end on the other and it can keep all your necessities out of reach of critters. And just because you don't have food doesn't mean that critters aren't going to get into it. Um, they could get into your clothes. You could literally have, if you have pets, they could smell your pets on your clothes, your boots, and they could want to go into it and be nosy and rip up your stuff. So this is pretty cool. So that's what this is. It's a hammock for your things. And at 60 pounds, um, I'm, I suppose a child probably could use this as a hammock, a small child. Um, I wouldn't do that. I would, I would feel it'd be unsafe, but pretty cool. And look at that. I got it all back in easy peasy lemon squeezy. It all fits right back in there. Look at that. Pretty cool. So that's that. Got it all back into the little thing. So that's pretty cool. Didn't think I could do it, did you? I didn't think I could do it. <laughs> so that's the first item. Next we got a, a Tactica M020 camping tool card. And I've seen a lot of videos on this camping tool card, and it seems, you know, pretty gimmicky to me. Um, you see that a lot. There's a lot of gimmicky stuff nowadays. If I can get this dang thing out. It's pretty cool how they have this packaged in this little foam thingamabobber. It's got a little instruction manual that comes with it. So basically, you can use it right like that. Fire starter. And it tells you all the information, what it does. So basically, like you take this out, you can put the ferro rod in it, like so. And you can strike the ferro rod and get a bunch of sparks you got a magnet on this side which i don't get why that magnet's there doesn't really talk about a magnet but it's got like a little magnet i don't know what that magnet's for basically you put the card in like so a little flathead screwdriver um you can use this it's a compass, or not a compass, a sundial. You put a little piece, you can put that probably a small piece of something or other in there. If the ferro rod's too big to fit in there, and you have yourself a little sundial, a little measuring tool. Um, this magnet is pretty cool. You could probably use this magnet to magnetize a needle on a leaf in a puddle of water, and you got yourself a makeshift little compass. Um, I don't see why it's where it's supposed to come with a magnet. Um, I'll read the instruction manuals later. But uh, like I said, these things, these little things are kind of gimmicky. Um, it's not going to take up any space hardly in your pack. So, I mean, it's not, not too bad. I mean, I don't trust this rope cutter. But it's gimmicky, but throw in the pack ain't going to hurt. It doesn't take up hardly any space. Next, we got Gear 8 550 Reflective Paracord, 30 feet. This is like a couple dollars. It's high visible, it's red. Um, it's a carabiner. I do not think it's made in China, not for climbing. So literally probably hold like 15, 20 pounds before this thing probably breaks. Super cheap carabiner. Can never have enough paracord. So it's pretty cool. Next, we got we got the Nomadic sticker, free sticker, camping out of a Volkswagen bus. That's pretty cool, underneath the stars, next to the river. 
And last but not least, we have a Wildland coffee in a tea bag. Real ground coffee because you have standards. You just add water, no equipment needed. Um, they even give you tasting notes what it's supposed to taste like. It's chocolate with a creamy body, not an instant coffee. It's a, almost a medium roast. It's kind of on the lighter side. So that's pretty cool. And they tell you to bring eight ounces of water to a boil. You place the coffee bag in water and soak the bag for five to eight minutes and then enjoy. So that's pretty cool. And like I said in my last video, you know, try you get to try something different. I mean, would I want this in my box all the time? No, but out of three boxes, only two of them had some kind of item like this. And you know what? Maybe I might like this coffee and it's pretty cool. It fits right in your bag. Take it out with you. So that's everything that was in this box. This is the Wilderness, or Base Camp Necessities box. So that's pretty cool. I'm, uh, I'm happy about what I got, so. And for 20 bucks a box, you can't beat it, so. That is it for now. Fishing fam and outdoor enthusiast. Uh, until the next one, no matter how bad a day you're having, get outside, cast your rod and reel, do some camping, and remember, no matter how bad of a day you're having, just take it one cast at a time, one cast at a time. I love y'all. I'll catch you on the next one. See you.